Here we are at the end of another week with another ultimate battle. The boys will go head to head to head to conjure up one of the simplest pleasures in life, the bacon sandwich. They will each come up with a unique twist to win a brownie point and I will judge them at the end. Let's see what they come up with. This is literally one of the only times that adding salad to anything has made it better. Bacon sandwich here, BLT here, counteract it with a cheese sauce, BLT croque madame here. First up, I'm going to make my own homemade tomato ketchup. I know, right? I'm going to dice a ton of tomatoes. Right, for me, bacon sandwiches and sweet chilli sauce are the one. Sandwich that bacon and chilli sauce between two bagels, and now we're talking. Put that bagel on a manmosa, eat that bacon bagel and the manmosa. Seriously though, the two have been designed so that when you take a bite of the bagel and then drink the manmosa, they accompany each other. Oh. <laughs> or, or, or compliment. compliment, yeah, yeah. Way, yeah. Compliment each other. <laughs> Do you want to know how to win an ultimate battle? I'm make a kid. croque madame BLT. You make a kimchi grilled cheese sandwich and then wrap it in an epic meal inspired bacon weave. I was expecting some sort of reaction, but. Yeah. I'll just get on with it. To start off, I'm going to make a cheese sauce. Butter, let it melt. Chuck in some flour, stir it in. Add your milk a bit at a time. Then chuck in some Parmesan cheese and half of your cheddar. Then some kimchi. I've put the second half of my cheese in now because the idea is I don't want it to melt too much because it can be cooked again. Well, no, it's all right. <laughs> Sweet chilli sauce, look at this. Korean chilli paste, gochujang, probably, that's how it's pronounced. Brown sugar, water, honey, soy sauce, rice wine vinegar. Oh, this is... I told you it was that with some freshly chopped chilli goes into a pan, bring it up to the boil, then reduce it for 10 minutes. That is how you make it, and it's freaking delicious. Mike, how long does yours take to make? Probably about 20 minutes. Yeah, that's the point of a bacon sandwich. Yeah. It's quick and efficient. How long does yours take to make, mate? Uh, so my tomato ketchup needs to simmer for about an hour. <laughs> Quick, I need a bacon sandwich. Oh. <laughs> Do you know what I fancy? A bacon sandwich in an hour and 20 minutes. <laughs> What's this thing? It's not often you're right. But when you said that mine's going to take an hour, I got a little bit hungry. <laughs> so, what I thought I'd do is make an interim bacon sandwich. I'll have a snack as well then, if you don't mind. No, okay. I've, I've just chucked one of my slices in there as well. Actually, while you're making one. Oh no, one, two, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I've got exactly the right amount of bacon I need. <laughs> do I sacrifice one? No, I'll go without. I'm already a fat lad. There we go. Yeah, chuck it on there, chuck it on there. You're gonna eat it that way round. What what's wrong with you? Sure. What's wrong with me? One of the world's best ultimate bacon sandwiches sorted. To add another layer to my grilled cheese sandwich, it's all about the buttering of your bread. I've got butter and some of what Mike has as well, the gochi chan, which I'm going to mix in with the butter and spread on top of the bread. I've also stuck a bit of the gochi... Hello. Go... Hello. I've also stuck a bit of the gochi chang <laughs> in my cheese sauce as well to give it an extra kick. So look at this and look how much it's thickened up. That is amazing. Now half of that I'm going to stroke over the... or brush whatever, over the top of my bacon. And this is smoked streaky bacon. That then goes into the oven for 12 minutes to crisp up. I'm gonna turn it halfway through as well to make sure they're evenly done. Next up, bacon weave, baby. Okay, right, I've watched a video online about this. Didn't look too hard. One, three. Hey oh, that's, um, is that what you call caramelized? That's the bottom. Right. Sauce. Boiling milk with bay leaves thyme and a pinch of nutmeg. How are you going to cook that? I don't know. 
Does it fit as well? I don't know. Oh. You're not putting that over to my side. I'm putting it in my butter pot. Well, okay. Right. Well, well done. I'm just going to drip some milk on it. Fine. I'm just going to take this off the boil. Fine. I'm going to put it back on. Fine. 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 Oh, wow, mate. That looks great. <laughs> Sorry. Is your bacon weave sandwich also a weapon? <laughs> Yeah, it looks like something you can throw at someone else at, on Mario Kart. Yeah. Jim, are you making a cheese sauce? Making a cheese sauce. Yeah. Oh no, I'm making a good cheese sauce. <laughs> so it's now getting crispy, which is good. But the thing with bacon is, Why is mine going to win, I hear you ask? Well, the internet is made up of bacon. Mm. Mm. Good, good chat. As if making my own ketchup wasn't next level enough, I'm going to go to another next level by adding my own vinegar and sugar reduction. Pow! -pow! Another next level? Another next... Not even another level? Nope, just another next level. I think it's at that point in time. Two, three. Hope this works. This is what I've done. I have toasted my bagels in the toaster, but now I'm going to griddle them to get char lines so you taste that charcoaly but delicious thing. And plus, it just looks good. Baz, how's it going? It's one of those things that I feel like I. Shouldn't like, but I love. It looks really good, mate. Yeah, it looks great. Yeah, yeah. What's wrong? Why are you... Why are you... No, nothing. No, no, it's fine. It looks good. No, it looks pretty... no, seriously. I can't wait to eat that. What's, what's the better side? That side of the other side. What's, what are you doing? Nothing. Did you ask us what the good side is? Spread on, spread, bacon, tomato, lettuce, spread on. As battles go, this is one I'm most looking forward to eating. Three, dare I say it, monstrosities there. Mm -hmm. yeah. mm -hmm. yeah. We've done bacon proud. We've done bacon We've done the proud. internet proud. First lads. Oh yes. Man Mosa, Man Mosa, yeah. Man Mosa. You can have that, but then after you've finished it, Man Mosa. Man, <laughs> <laughs> that is a straw. You are a judge, so. Well played, mate, oh. well played. Right, well, instantly, you're playing to your strength, which is get them drunk, and the rest will follow. Sweet chilli sauce, toasted bagel. Also, okay. it's important, you have a bite, you have a drink. The fresh should offset the sweet and from the, the chilli. That is spicy, it's salty, mm. it's sweet. It works with smoky bacon. The freshness of this, mm. and you know how to get what you want. So, add alcohol. Drink all of that, drink all of that, then we'll move on to the judging. <laughs> I, like, I like the nod to a little bit of fresh lettuce in there. Yep, keep it healthy. 
<laughs> because everything else is exactly what I want for a really naughty bacon sandwich. As bacon sandwiches go, it is an absolute mess, but a delicious mess. Like, you just want to keep going back for more. Barry's just gone for internet points. Yep. Wait a minute. <laughs> Wait a minute. I what have we done? You, I didn't realise you still Oh, no, it. yeah, that, that was... Yeah, it's got Tomb Raider-style traps in it. Look at that. In a bacon sandwich battle, you've used the most bacon, you've done the internet bacon weave, and you've paired it with cheese and kimchi. It is unreal. That's a bacon bagel with a cocktail. It's very simple, but... I thought of every so. element there. Exactly. It is toasted, it's got the sauce, it's got the grilled bacon, and it's got a manmosa. He's done simple well. This is probably merging, personally, my two favourite sandwiches. And that is so simple that it's got nowhere to hide. So this week, what my brownie close? point I don't know where he's going. goes to the bacon weave. And I feel oh, like, yes! I feel no! like that. I can't I, believe that. I almost have to apologise for that because I feel like we've gone to the obvious internet, but the kimchi and the cheese is an absolute winner for me. For eight years, we have tried to be everything that Epic Meal Time isn't. And as soon as we do it, <laughs> we realise oh, they were onto something. <laughs> If we'd have done it eight years ago, we might have a lot more subscribers. <laughs> well, well done, Baz. I only get Glory one to say, back. though. You guys get a Glory. vote, too. So use the poll on YouTube to cast your vote. Which one would you prefer? Comment down below if you do anything differently. All right, you might have won. I like this winning thing. It's a rare thing for me. Yeah, you might have won, but all three recipes were absolutely great. So they if you were... want to get any of the recipes, they're all on the website. Click the link downstairs. It'll take you there. And if you like all of this stuff, then make sure you subscribe and ring that bell. And if you've missed any videos this week, go and watch them. They were great. And we'll be back tomorrow with another fantastic week of videos. I'm going to say goodbye. Bye. Click on the left if you missed our last video or click on the right video for one of our favourites.